Hey guys, this is Brandon from Tap Rack Bank Training. Uh, today we're going to talk about a couple of products that we got uh, from Red Wolf Defense. Okay, so they got their gun oil and they got their gun cleaner, right? So this is like a two part thing where you have to, you know, you can use the gun cleaner to soften up, you know, those things that are not able for you to um, take, take out, right, with regular gun oil. And gun oil obviously is used to lubricate the fire and all that stuff. Now let's talk about the gun oil first, right? It's very viscous, right? And what that means is if you're shooting suppressed, right, which we did shoot um, this bolt carrier and discharging handle this with a suppressor, um, keeping your bolt carrier wet as you're shooting suppress is very important. A lot of oils out there, once you shoot, it does not retain uh, lubrication because either it's too light on the viscosity, right, and it just gets thrown out or it burns up. I have been running it hard. I'm about six, 700 rounds, right? Majority of those rounds are shot from a suppressor. So um, this bolt is as dirty as it's probably gonna get within the time frame that we shot it, right? Um, believe it or not, this is supposed to be a silver bolt carrier group, okay? And it's dark, right? So let's take a look, okay? So I'm gonna wipe it, right, obviously. This is obviously lubricated from them. All right, so let's clean the opposite end of the, the charging handle first. Usually just go like this right there. <laughs> it's crazy because the inside of this is supposed to be um, bronze, right? Like a Geisley. You can kind of see the already kind of coming out, which is a good thing, right? Let's wipe it all off. Okay. All the way down. Do all this stuff. It's doing pretty well. What I'm going to do now, right, since I've taken off majority of the initial cleaning here, I'm going to go ahead and get this gun cleaner in though, right? Make sure we get more or break down more of those gunk, okay? I'm going to go ahead and do the initial part of this bolt carrier group, okay? One is nasty. I'm just saying that right now. So I'm going to get my hands dirty. That's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and take out this cap pin, which is hard because it's dirty. There you go. So pins out. Comes out that way. Actually, no. That. There we go. Fire pin's gone. Let's take this out. Go. I'm kind of scared of what this looks like right now. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's just crazy dirty, dude. Yeah, so the gas keys are fine. But look how dirty the tops are right here. And yeah, that's horrendous, right? Ernie's about to fire me from getting my gun this dirty. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and wipe it, right? go kind of see the color of the bolt carrier coming out a little bit there's some heavy gunk in there definitely cannot be taken out easily cool all right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wipe the rest of these guys off too right there is definitely going to be parts of this that's going to be left behind still, right? So, there we go. Pin. And then I can see some hard stuff here, so I'm just going to leave that alone for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some gun cleaner all over the place here. Then same thing with this guys, All right? Let's soften up those hard corners. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and then wipe down my charging handle, okay? So this has been sitting for a while there, so it should be good to go now. I don't know if you can see that, but it's already looking kind of clean, okay? Um, and I'm not using a heavy brush right now. I'm using a super moderate, and super soft cloth and I'm taking out a lot of these skunk right now so that's just satisfying man <laughs> cool I mean there's really not a lot you can do with a charging handle right so I think that's good to go so I'll put that up there it's cool now let's do our firing pin all right, so fire pin, let's wipe it down. 
I can see that some issues in there. It's already broken down actually a lot of those skunk. Oh yeah. Usually you'd be fighting for a lot of the stuff that's in there, right? Just came out easily. And then the bottom part right here too. All right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put some gun oil. Gun cleaner on the sides of this. There we go. Voila. That's gonna go for the purposes of today, right? Right there. Let's probably wipe this down. Make sure when you're cleaning though, you're also check, checking for like maintenance of your products, right? Um, gas keys, make sure your pin's still good. This usually goes a lot, right? All right. Time for the crappy part right here. I'm gonna brush this across, get that gunk away. That gunk right there is going to be hard to defeat, but we'll see if this can do it. I'm sure it will with time, right? Probably a harder brush too, but it's okay. Yeah. You know what, since we're already here, let's just go through it. Most people won't even go through this deep, but it's fine. There are certain things. You can see how dirty that extractor is actually, and think about it. So let's get some good oil in there. cleaning on the camera right because kind of being rushed to finish but usually these are like zen moments by yourself all right so this is the hard part right here you got to do this regardless right um this part right here is super crusted so you should be able to do it i don't know if you guys can see it right i'm scratching it off and you guys can see the the built up of carbon back here all right so i'm gonna scratch it off so you guys can see right right there that's important okay make sure you use a steel brush or something to get that part cleaned off all right so now we're gonna do, go to the bolt carrier itself right so let's see <laughs> that's funny man that's great One thing that um, I'm thankful for though, and I'm sure Royce is thankful for as well, as I'm cleaning this inside, uh, and uh, I mean, it's ventilated, but it's not that ventilated, right? Is the smell, okay? We definitely use products where you, you would be high right now, right? Um, <laughs> while using this. So um, yeah, definitely kudos to them for not making the product uh, extremely like potent in terms of its, uh, smell but i think it's doing great right now you can kind of see the color of the bolt carrier group come out right but let's see
There we go. Cool. Obviously, this is just a quick clean, right? Um, I wish I could spend here two hours with you guys outside an armory. Maybe I should have started that as a podcast when I was still in the Marine Corps. All right, armory cleaning with Brandon. But um, it's good for the most part. This gun will probably function, but we'll see, okay? Um, let's just assemble it, all right? So you put your... Put this away real quick. So you put your bolt in, okay? Make sure you... Uh, put the extractor outboard, and then from here, I lubricate a little bit of my cam pin, okay? There is a lot of pressure going through here. Actually, before that, let's lubricate this. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it does. Um, I'm sure spending more time on this thing too um, will get it even more cleaner. You know. So if you come up and put it up here, you'll be good to go. Okay. Well, majority of the time, if you come up this way and you come out and it doesn't stick out like that, then either you're under lubricator or the the bolt is just too dirty. And then that's pretty much it, guys. I mean. Could we get it cleaner? Yeah, absolutely. But, I mean, for what, cleaning it for about three minutes? That's not too bad. That actually looks like night, night and day, as you said, right? Make sure you like our videos and subscribe to our channel. We put a lot of content out there. We drop a video every Tuesday for your viewing pleasure. Uh, and we vary up the, uh, the content, so that way we stay relevant for you.